Welcome to the Cadmus channel. In this tutorial, we'll dive into the world of mechanical design and build a mechanism wheel using Onshape. Mechanism wheels are a unique type of wheel that allows omnidirectional movement, making them ideal for robotics applications. We'll cover the entire design process from sketching initial concepts to assembling the final model. Let's have a look at the drawing here. So we get a front view of this. We'll be modeling a side plate. Mirror that. And then um, design the roller in context. Okay, you get an exploded view here. So it's eight rollers and two side plates. All right, let's get started. So I will start in an empty part studio with a sketch on the top plane with a circle starting in the origin and giving that circle a dimension of 18 millimeters, that is. Then a construction line here and one line in that direction, mirror that line over there, give that a dimension of 45 and a vertical dimension of 17.5. Continue then with a line up here, go to the right, go down, we're here, press the left mouse button and make that a tangent arc here. Continue with a line make those coincident, apply an angle of 225, dimension here of 7, radius of 1, distance from that um, center line 4.5, and again, one other with seven. That's it for that sketch. And let's make a sheet metal model out of this. Thickening that face here with a thickness of 0.8 millimeters and a band radius of three millimeters. Okay, and let's continue with the flange, flange command over here with, um, we'll take that edge, give that a distance of 12 and a band angle of 45. Let's apply a fillet of 3.5 to that edge and that one. And now to find a mate connector with um, that center of that arc. Okay, continue with the hole. Use that mate connector two millimeters in metric. That is fine. And 
now let's just make a, another fillet here of that edge with four millimeters. Then a circular pattern adding to our existing body with that edge as a um, axis definition. Um, there it is, our side plate. I'll apply different color to that. So that's it for this part studio. Next thing, I'll insert that side plate and an assembly, an empty assembly. There's the origin. And I will apply a revolute mate hovering over that circular edge. Okay, so this is rotating. And I will just um, shift C, shift V. Um, Insert another copy of that. Click on that and um, rotate that. And apply a cylindrical mate between that edge and that one. OK. Let's um, get that up. And next thing, we will apply a cylindrical mate between that mate connector and that one. And that combines the two of those um, together. OK. So the next part, the roller, we will define within this assembly. So this is the command for that, create part studio and context. And I will just select that mate connector. And a new part studio opens with three planes and I will pick the the front plane for my first sketch press N for a normal view to that P hide all planes and maybe it's more comfortable to work when we get those two mate connectors aligned horizontally. And with uh, U, I will project um, those two edges here of our arc. With L, I connect the centers of those um, mate connectors and I'll continue with the construction line from that midpoint here then another line somewhere here give that um, 0.6 millimeter um, offset from that initial um, projected geometry. Give that a 5.6 millimeter height. 
and then a one millimeter difference here, vertical distance. Then mirror over that line, that one. And then with a A, I go into the three point arc, connect those two here with I connecting that one. And so we got one face here. That's it for that sketch. I go into the revolve, the solid revolve of that face around that axis. Now let's work on those traction grooves. And I'll take the Halix command here. Click on that edge here. Give that a height of something like 40, 3 turns, and I think a 9 millimeter radius sufficient. So all that we get our helix. Then I'll project that helix onto that face. Here we get the curves bowler. I can hide that one. And define a plane with a curve point of and that curve and that end point. So um, that plane is normal to our projected curve. Then start a sketch on that one, a circle um, with a dimension of point six. And then I'll use the Pierce um, constraint between that center point and our curve. Okay, I'll hide all planes and apply a fillet of one millimeter to those two edges. Now let's go into the sweep, uh, remove option of that face and that path. Okay, I'll just change the name to Roller and hide that curve and define one mate connector on our entity, on our part, with those two edges. So we got that mate connector right in the center. And um, this we can use to mirror that sweep. Going into the feature mirror, the sweep mirror plane is the mate connector. Reapplying the feature. All right. Next, let's make a circular pattern of features. And I'll just select them here in the browser. 
the sweep, the mirror around the mate connector and maybe just three times reapplying the feature take some time to calculate and there are the grooves now I will apply a different appearance to those features and another one to our part. So we created um, our part in this part studio number two and now we want to go back to the assembly and there it is but there is no um, definition uh, no positioning of, of that part um, so we create that mate connector here and we need a, another one um, so let's just measure the distance between those two faces it's 36.2 and I will define one mate connector at half of that position so I'll move in the z-axis half of that, that is 18.1. There it is. And um, now let's uh, apply a revolute um, mate between those two. Okay, and um, I applied in the initial animation, I showed you a gear relation between that um, Revolute and that one. And I wanted the rollers to go faster, so I changed the relation ratio to six. And finally, let's uh, make an assembly circular pattern of our part again with that circular edge and that is eight times. Okay, and I'll press Okay, on the keyboard to hide the mate connectors and for animation I will animate with a loop playback type and make that 600 steps and there it is. I hope you liked this tutorial and I see you in the next one.